everyone, Gina here with Belly Beats. Here today to bring you a tutorial of part three of the wallpaper material that I've been using. I've been using this forever um, and it comes and goes sometimes with me. I will create jewelry out of it at times. I will hold back on it, but today I actually want to incorporate the wallpaper into the regular paper beads that I typically make. Now if you haven't visited my website, which is bellybeads.com, go check it out. I um, offer all kinds of different strips, sizes, shapes, patterns, uh, and they're really kind of cool because you don't have to cut it yourself. They're precisely cut. I own a Cricut, I own many of them, and uh, everybody seems to, to love the different shapes and sizes that I've created. Now, this is the first time I'm using solid paper, and if you haven't checked out part one and part two, I encourage you to do so. There you will see how I've incorporated the wallpaper strips, which are these, I call them covers, into my barrels. And these are the barrels. This is the eight millimeter barrel, and these are the 16 millimeter barrels, and they're all covered with wallpaper. All right, but today, since I've done part one and part two, I wanna show you what it would look like with just the wallpaper itself. Now, wallpaper comes in sample books, and you can get them anywhere for free at your local wallpaper store. They typically throw them out, so you would be recycling, which is a good thing. And I love them because they look so much like satin, and I also tested it with glazing, and glazing is fine when you glaze your beads. I'll show you. I glazed these. And I will let you know that I first used PC Petrifier. I dipped it once and then I glazed it with polycrylic. So this did not melt it, it did not burn it. They came out beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, part two was the 16 millimeter barrels. Now I'm going to show you part three. I've created these awesome. I, I use them as charms actually. This is wallpaper and it's been rolled, glazed, and I wanted to create little charms, which I did. Then I've created these barrels, which are totally awesome. I just love them. They're so pretty. Um, these look like a pair of earrings that I think I'm going to create from it. I do. I think I'm going to create those. Did the camera pick that up? There you go. Alrighty. So let's get started. Now I have this color of wallpaper. And you don't need to condition this. Usually in my other videos I say to condition the paper because it has to soften up. These seem pretty soft. So I'm using my smallest paper bead roller. These seem to uh, roll very easy. There's not much to it, but I will mention the backing of a wallpaper. You have to be very careful with because it is used to um, a wallpaper paste when they hang the, it on the walls. So the glue that you use, you know, test it and see. But I usually start from the very back of it, like a nice big portion of it, and then I start rolling it just to ensure that it stays um, completely closed. Whoops, all that glue. And then you wanna hold it for a moment. And there you go. There is the one. Now you can paint the cores of them if you like, dip them in gold to accent the gold that's already highlighted in there. Now if you see that it, it looks like it wants to lift up a little bit, right? So you want to just put a little bit more. I'm very generous with my glue when it comes to paper beads. I usually just roll them right in there like that. And you can. Alrighty. And the paper bead, these were already glazed. So it didn't harm the colors or the fabric of the wallpaper at all. So there's the one. I'm going to push this off. Push, put this to the side and then I'm going to show you this one. Look how pretty this one is. 
you can really coordinate these uh, patterns with your other paper. This is great if you're, you know, if you if you're doing craft shows for weddings, you can even get maybe a nice white wallpaper looking like it's like a, for the wedding. It's really pretty. I I love working with this. It's just another medium. Uh, another added addition to all your other now see how this one you don't see much of this right look it's all white that's what I was talking about in my previous videos when you're cutting make sure that when you roll it you can see some of this pretty pattern so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of this so I can see I want to see that pattern. I made them that long because I like the chunkiness of it. So there you go. Let's put some. Now I like to, uh, when I'm working with the wallpaper, I always start like really far back, not just the tip, because I want to ensure that this stays. Then I smear the glue all around it. This is going to take a little bit for it to stick. Like I mentioned, the glue that they use, the paste for wallpaper is much thicker, hotter. So the glue that you use, make sure that um, it will stick with your your, uh, your paper bead here or your, your wallpaper bead. All right, my glue is getting all over. There you go, I wanna clean that up there for you. It looks like it's going to stay a little bit more pressure, but there you go. There is um, your wallpaper. I hope the camera is picking this up because it's really pretty. Maybe if I put it under another color, let's see. You can see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. Very, very sweet. All right, and there we go. So not only do we have covers for these paper strips, because this is the covers that I made out of wallpaper, and this is in part two, and then I have part one. These are already glazed with the wallpaper on top of it. That's part one, this is part two, and this is part three. So these are fun to make. You can get the paper for free you're recycling and there you go all right so if you like this video please subscribe and if you'd like to see more upcoming videos click on the bell to remind you of more of my videos coming up and uh, share this if you'd like please and thank you so much for all your support everyone's been so great if you have any questions please don't hesitate uh, to to you know put your comments or questions below and I invite you to join my group at paper beads born pretty on Facebook we have a lot of fun there I do paper bead extravaganzas they're live I sell the paper strips live on um, in our group and I also have them in bellybeads.com so go check it out thank you again and enjoy bye